Hey guys, it's Julissa and I am so excited to share this video with you guys. Um, I thought of this idea the other day and ever since I've been like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to do it. And I have different videos planned, but that I actually thought of before this one. Um, but I just have been like <laughs> obsessing with this one a little bit because I just think it's a really fun idea. So um, I decided I had to do this one next. Um, so this is going to be my hair history um, with pictures included. And I think it's really fun when my favorite YouTubers um, share their hair history or just share childhood pictures, just pictures from, you know, back in the day or different looks that they've had. I think it's um, so fun. So I think, um, yeah, that was definitely a big part of why I wanted to do this. And also, you know, um, in the black community, a lot of people think that um, us black women, if we don't have, you know, super long hair, it's because we can't grow long hair um or if we had long hair and then our hair becomes short it's because you know it broke off we didn't just cut it out of choice and that's not true um i know plenty of women including myself who plenty of black women who have chosen to cut their hair for you know style purposes or you know save time out of their routine whatever um so yeah i think that's something that i would like to play a part in, um, I'd like to play a part in dispelling that rumor. Um, you know, I think if anything, women of all cultures can grow long, healthy hair. I think um, one of the bigger problems is retaining length, keeping the length that you have grown. And um, women of all cultures have problems with that due to, you know, things that they are doing to their hair that aren't good or things that they're not doing that they should be doing. Um, so just from reading and being so interested in this, I've learned quite a bit. So if that, you know, if growing and maintaining healthy hair is something that, you know, is a big interest of yours, hopefully my videos can help out with that a bit. Um, so stay tuned. And this is my hair history. Thanks for watching. Hey guys. Hello. Oh, wow where it all began. <laughs> Try to find a picture where I wasn't crying my eyes out, but I couldn't do it. Here's me and my brother when I was probably like three, he was four or five. Um, yeah. This is my sister, my brother, and I on his graduation day from kindergarten, and I just had one of my normal stupid hairstyles that my mom knew how to do and I just had like normal you know little kid hair I guess <laughs> frizzy whatever and um, obviously I did not have relaxed hair yet but here I do which is kind of crazy because I was still so young but um, I don't remember my mom ever pressing my hair or anything like that and I got a perm really young like probably around when I was six or seven so um, my hair is probably um, relaxed and blown out here and because my mom didn't know what she was doing a lot of it had broken off at this point so um, yeah the pictures are going to be kind of sparse because I don't have that many but um, yeah I had to come back because I'm running out of childhood pictures um, I had more but I don't have them they were like you know physical pictures it's unfortunate that you know, when I was growing up, there weren't, you know, digital pictures all over the place and that could be backed up. So I don't have the hard copies of the pictures. So, yeah, but I wore my hair relaxed for years and I would always go like long periods where um, I didn't relax my hair and um, I don't know, I would just like wet it and pull it back in a ponytail or um, just wear it. I never really did the wearing it with a lot of new growth thing. I was like, look it back. Um, so then I went away to college, and at that time, my hair was down my back. Um, and I would go to the salon during high school to get it permed, um, to get it relaxed, sorry. And I would go, they'd relax it, whatever, and then um, I started like doing my own washes but I didn't do washing sets yet I just did like washing my hair and um, letting it air dry which is like what 
I would let it air dry and it would get so like hard to deal with and then I would use like a cheap flat iron and like um I don't know what kind of hair serum. I eventually started using frizzies but I would use like a cheap flat iron and get my hair like kind of straight um through a lot of high school or whatever and then I went to college and um a couple of times I went to like Dominican salons to get my hair relaxed but the ones I went to um were really unfriendly and I wouldn't even consider doing my own relaxers at that point so um I eventually just stopped relaxing it um and a couple of months went by where um I intended to relax it again, I just hadn't gone. And then, um, I don't know, oh my goodness, I was using like a, this is the one time that I have experienced hair breakage. Not to say there's something wrong with this product, but there was something wrong with the way I was using the product. <laughs> so um, I was really excited because um, during the summer before college, I started seeing the infomercials for the Maxi Glide. And if you're not familiar, it's this flat iron with like little pins like to get your hair straight so if this is a flat iron with like a bunch of pins you know all along and it helped grip the hair from the root it also had this little vial that held water and you could press it and i guess they figured oh well flat irons for ironing your hair what gets, helps get your clothes really straight the steam so it had a button and water would come out and um it would steam your hair straight and it worked really well but honestly I feel like the teeth are really good on that um, I don't know if they still make it with the teeth but I feel like the teeth are the biggest part in getting your hair straight um I don't condone doing using like flat irons on wet hair or damp hair um I, I only condone using them on completely dry hair and with heat protection and that's not what I was doing back then I was using that steam feature I was using that iron like every day and my hair eventually started to break. And also, you know, all of this coupled with the fact that I went months without relaxing. So I was dealing with, you know, natural roots and, you know, relaxed, you know, hair, relaxed ends that were the majority of my hair that were easy to manage, that I was used to managing. And it was just too much for me. And um, I stopped straightening it and I just went natural. So um, I was natural for almost a year, probably about 10 months. Um, so here's some pictures from that. Well, the one picture from that. So this is me in college. This is back in 2007 when I was about to graduate. And this is me thinking I'm really cute in my friend's mirror. Um, and my hair is, um, I would say here I'm about six months post relaxer. And I just slicked my hair back with that Garnier Fructis soft curl cream you see in the corner and some I think Fantasia IC gel. Um, so this is my pretty much the look I always wore when I was natural because I didn't know what else to do with my hair. Hmm. And then I definitely broke down and relaxed my hair again. Um, the only way I knew to do my hair was to just let it air dry and flat iron it. And when I was natural that just wasn't going to work. I so wish I had known how to roller set, which I eventually learned, or how to blow my hair out and flat iron it properly, but I didn't. So instead, I just jumped back into um, relaxing it. So this picture and the next are my hair in the first few months after relaxing it again, after having been natural for about 10 months. So um, from there, my hair just grew and grew. I learned my lesson with, you know, too much flat ironing and you know just flat ironing the wrong way and all that so um i learned how to roller set my hair and um i got a pibs overhead dryer and i learned how to roller set because i'm not a big fan of salons i would go to the salon now and then and i was still going to my salons for perms for a long time um but i eventually did start doing my own relaxers as well i keep saying perm relaxer is what i mean um but yeah my hair grew and grew um and my hair's always grown pretty easily and retained length pretty easily. So, um, yeah. Here's some pictures of that. Here's some pics of, uh, of my hair grown out.
Okay, so then, um, so I enjoyed the long hair thing for a while, and then I decided I was just tired of dealing with it. I was tired of it taking so long. Um, I was really setting it for a long time, which takes freaking forever. Yes, the results are fabulous, but it takes forever. Um, and then I got um, a good blow dryer and a good flat iron, both Solia brand. And my hair was so long that I still just felt like it took too long. And I didn't mind the idea of a change. So um, I decided to cut off a few inches. And here's what that looked like. But I decided I wasn't short enough. And what I really wanted was that um, look that Tyra had on her show, Tyra Banks, on her um, talk show after she, you know, made that big pledge to, like, take a break from weave and wigs or whatever. Um, and it was, like, I guess about this length, like, this length if it were straight. And then um, just, like, the swooped back long bangs and stuff. I just thought it was so adorable. So... I went to the hair salon, the same one as before, but stupidly I was such a beast and I didn't wait for the girl who did the first haircut, which I was happy with, to be available. And I tried this other lady and I showed her a picture of Tyra. I actually took it with my phone like off the television as I watched Tyra and I was like, this is how I want my hair to look. And Tyra's hair is pretty much like, it looks like one length in the picture and then it's like the swoop bangs and I'm like and she's like oh okay it looks like she has some layers in the back and I heard that word layers and layers look nice on other people but they can even look nice on me but I just like my hair all one length so I was like no 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 because this has happened to me in the past I was like oh no I, I don't want the layers though make it look like as close as possible but no layers like just the one length and the bangs that's really what I'm concerned about not like the exact look if you think it has layers I don't want the layers I don't want the layers. I don't want the layers. Because <laughs> I know that they don't listen. And she's like, okay, with all the layers, got it. So I'm like, oh, alright. What does she do? She cuts the freaking layers in my hair. She finishes cutting. Okay, and you know, they're doing that thing where they're pulling stuff up and they're just chopping or whatever. And you're like, oh, what is she doing up there? And then all of a sudden you realize, fuck, like, they did what you didn't want them to do, but it's pretty much too late. You have to let them keep going because with one cut, with one chop, it can't be recovered. So when she's finished, she actually goes, okay, yeah, and I got the layers in there for you. And it just made me, oh my gosh, like, it was upsetting. Now I'm still like growing out the remnants of that haircut where the, she gave me the layers and I asked her not to and I had a cut like about a year ago now so this this is like the result of my cutting out all those damn layers that she gave me and um, also like giving myself generous trims because I'm going natural and I don't want like a big shift where I'm going to cut off like a big length of my hair, but I give generous trims to myself because I don't just give trims like for the point of keeping healthy hair. I give trims to make it a little bit shorter because I'm slowly trying to get to where my whole head is not relaxed. And I have a long way to go because um, I'm only about two months post relaxer right now. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. I've got a lot of fun stuff planned, um, some good videos, so... Thanks again, and until next time, bye.